First Lady of Fayetteville, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're all touched by your remarks. And I want to thank all of you who are here today. And of course, our First Lady Michelle Obama and President Barack Obama, who have made our military men and women and their families a priority in his administration. I want to thank again jo uh, Joanne Shivani and Kirk DeVries, DeVere, I'm sorry, co-founders of the Fayetteville Cares, as well as your wonderful mayor, mayor Tony Shivani, for having all of us here today. And I know Faye Etheridge, I believe, is here. And I want to be sure she gives her best to her wonderful husband, Bob. But this is my second visit to, Fay to Fayetteville, and specifically Fort Bragg, since I was sworn in in January. North Carolina is the most military-friendly state in the nation, and we intend to keep it that way. Yes. I am very proud to represent the men and women in the military who are in uniform by serving as your senator from North Carolina, and I look forward to working with my colleagues on the Senate Armed Forces Committee to be sure that our soldiers and their families have what they need, both overseas and at home. But caring for our servicemen and women is more than just a slogan to me. It's personal. As you heard, I come from a military family. My 95-year-old father-in-law is a major general in the Marine Corps. My brother and father were both in the Navy. My husband, Chip, is a Vietnam veteran who used the GI Bill to go to law school. I've also got two nephews, and one of them graduated from the Air Force Academy, and he flies an F-15 Strike Eagle now. And when he was in the, the Air Force Academy, at his school, they had families in the local community that actually adopted every student there, take them to dinner on an occasional basis, and, and many things that I see the same thing going on right here in Fayetteville. And I can't begin to tell you how much that means to families. But of the men and women who serve our country, much is asked. But it's our obligation to make sure that much is returned to them. I commend organizations like Fayetteville Cares that exist to help our servicemen and women and their families. Thank you very much for all that you do. When I was in the state senate, we helped fund family assistance centers across the state, which offers help to families, financial planning, help filling out benefit and claim forms, and other services that will help ease the transition in and out of service for military members and their families. I think it's very exciting that Michelle Obama has come to Fayetteville today. I think it's an honor for Fort Bragg and all of the military men and women that are proudly serving our country. And I think it's also a testament to the community here in Fayetteville. And I commend you very much. I thank you for joining us here today. And I know you join me in looking forward to hearing from Michelle Obama on her commitment to all of our military families. Thank you and God bless you. Please welcome the First Lady of the United States, accompanied by Mayor Tony Schiavone. Welcome, uh, everyone. Uh, great to be here. Welcome to you, and thank you all for what you do for our military families and for being here today and, and for being a, a great part of this very special day for us. And to you, Ms. Obama, welcome to Fedville. I'm proud uh, to be here today representing 210,000 grateful citizens as the mayor of Fedville and to share in this special time with the First Lady and with each of you. Proud to have been born here, the son of a soldier, and most proud to live in a military town. Ms. Obama, we thank you for your concern and your commitment to military families and can assure you there's no more appropriate location to share your vision than this soldier sanctuary city, a place where honor and sacrifice are celebrated each and every day. The history of Fedville is interwoven with the history of our country's military. The diversity reflected in the faces of this city provides us all a geography lesson on the places of our nation's conflicts over the last century. We join together today to celebrate a commitment by our country's leaders for their support of the military family members. 
but indeed our community has lived that type of commitment for decades. We stood with the families at train tracks and bus stations on this very street to see soldiers leave for places like Sicily and Anzio. We were at the Green Rant to see them return from new places like Fallujah and Kandahar. And through all the years in between, we've been there to support the families they left behind. You see, war is not a political word in Fedville. War is where our families and friends go to protect the freedom our country enjoys. The news of the wounded and the killed aren't merely faces and unfamiliar names. It's different when they're the friends that you play with, shop with, and pray with every day. It's different when you see the strain and stress from frequent and lengthy deployments in the faces of the people that you love. It's different when you feel their loss in your heart. And it's different when you see their family's courage and willingness to sacrifice for our freedom up close and personal. Indeed, to live beside those types of American heroes is to live in Fedville. Today's recognition reaffirms the longstanding commitment of people who care. Moms and dads, families and friends, local businesses, and everyday people. And it helps tell the story of a city that cares. As mayor, I'm proud to say that not just today, but every day, Fedville cares. Thank you for coming to share this special day with us. And more importantly, we thank you for your personal commitment to those that we love. On behalf of a grateful and supportive city, I'd like to present you with a national award-winning photograph taken by a local photographer that's been with you all day, actually, Andrew Kraft, who's with us today. And the photo, uh, I think it's right behind here. Oh, my goodness. The photo titled, Tearful Departure, depicts in dramatic fashion the emotions of a military family as an 82nd Airborne soldier leaves in defense of our country. We hope you display it proudly and that it serve as a visual reminder to all of those who see it that there's a human side to war, a side reflected in the faces in this photograph and reflected in the faces of the families and the people who love them in this community.